Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And this is our good friend, Pancro Jones. And that was our good friend, Pancro Jones. And as you can see, it is G-Fred time again, folks. We're all hanging out on the 8th year server, waiting for the G-Fred to start. People are practicing their Hail Mary jumps, as I was, which is mostly why my car is half destroyed. They were not going well. The jumps were not going well today. And I had decided by the time this little indication came up that if I was on the G Fred side, I was not going to be using the Hail Mary ending there. I would just swim. As you recall, last time the, the Hail Mary jump did not end well for me on a G Fred. Jump out! Click, 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 click. So I'm sitting there. Barbecue sauce on my titties. <laughs> <laughs> so, here I am, hanging with Pancro Jones and a whole lot of names you probably recognize if you follow Bruffy1322 and these kinds of races. It's. I've managed 48 minutes, but I did it with a friend. Yeah, it's not easy when you do it for the very first time. It's an interesting mix because you can get people from all walks of life here, both the regulars to the channel, people who have just drifted in. There's no there's no white list on this one. It's wide open, as I recall. You might have to be in the Discord. There might be some limitation to it. I think you might, might be limited to... I, I don't really remember. I, I, as I recall, this was wide open to get as many people as possible. But we get 121 in the end result, but that's what the weight is going to be. The weight's going to be, can we get everybody in? With no one crashing out as me and Pancro Jones stare at each other, because, you know, you got to stare somewhere. You can just run around like a crazy person, too. Which we can do that. There is one other option, and we're going to do that very, very shortly. If you're just staring. And get the right view. Hi, Pancro Jones. This is Pancro Jones' 8th gear character. Using the uh, the police outfit that I don't think you can get in vanilla, can you? Uh, here we go. The, the the option, the main tradition for waiting for Bruffy to get it all set. The conga line, the the creeping conga line. I don't know why we have to creep. I think that just keeps it slower. And I get Master cut me off just like I cut off Bruffy last time, but I'm I'm okay. With it. I'm perfectly okay with being cut off. That's fine. It's a conga line. Okay, it's a. Conga line? Can't just cut in the line. Okay, Get fine. To the back. <laughs> that was me. Yeah, that's right. This is an exhibition, not a competition. Please, no wagering. And this is just, you know, we get as many people lined up as you can. And what's happening is you can look at that counter in the upper left. 118 of 119 join. The server is set up for 121. And so right now, over on the stream, they're trying to work out what it takes to get 121 people in. People are trying. To, maybe they had to reset their game. They're trying to get in. Pankro Jones, not a big conga guy. At least not in video games. Maybe in real life. I don't know. Maybe that's how he spends his Friday nights. Every night's a conga line. I have no idea. There are there are several hundred miles between me and Pancro in, in real life. I don't think a thousand. It's still several hundred miles. So I've never gotten to go with him to conga night at uh, whatever watering hole he prefers. I'll be honest, I would be hard pressed to try and find conga night at uh, any of the local watering holes. I haven't been to a watering hole in a very long time. It is just that simple. Not a lot of conga going on. And we're at 121 of 121, so any moment now, we're into the any moment now, we will be, uh, 
be entering the actual game. Now, the island that I'm on doesn't mean that's good, you know, that's the island I'm going to launch from. That's kind of immaterial. Everything gets scrambled as soon as they hit the button and start the race. Right now I'm on the Drifty side, so is Pankro. And I do stay on the Drifty side. I'm going to give you that little bit of a spoiler. Pankro gets launched to the other side. So we're, we're coming at each other this time. We don't get to race with each other. Although we're all racing with each other because it's all time-based. Which side is faster? It used to be the G-Fred side was always faster. But I believe the record right now between the two is held by Dirt Jeepers. You have to know some lines that I don't know yet. Oh, Mass is making some passes here. No, that's not even Mass. Who's the... I've lost track of who's who here. But people are moving around any moment now. It's going to happen. The magic is going to happen. And someone takes a swing. That's just frustration from just wanting to to race the G Fred Durf G challenge. And there we go. Once you see the dots and everything gets rearranged. I think you have to be a little bit lucky to, and, and start up front to really help yourself out here. Although, once you hit the... Uh, Look at that. For this one moment, I'm ahead of RBS, guys. For this one moment. In time. Now, and right there, as things line up, now it's, it just changed. Somehow, without moving at all, I dropped that many places. I think right here, I, I, I wasn't holding down shift quite properly. I think I picked it up there. There we go. Now we're running properly. And we leap. Goosh. And I lost. I went head first in the rocks, lost half my health. Now I'm drowning. Losing tons of health here, I almost died. So, that really brings up an interesting point, folks, is that you shouldn't dive into shallow water. That's not a thing you should do. It's not like I openly chose that. It just, that's what the game did when I jumped into the water. It, it felt that was an important thing to do. So now we're just swimming. Or since I'm, I'm voicing this over after the fact, swamming? Now, the trick with a dirt jeep is that I really, really don't have a great feel for where to go after. Like, what's the best line? Not a clue. I know I've got to get to the highway. I know I've got to get a car. That's the built-in tradition of the dirt JG Fred 10 thing. Were there jet skis here? Wouldn't be able to use them. Bikes, not available. You have to go on foot until you steal a car. Off the highway. Note, I am still nearly... Wait, what's happening to this guy? Boom! Oh! I think he tried to run up the wall and then lost footing and just fell. I'm doing a little jumping there, trying to get up. And it's a very important to switch a view again so you can make sure that you can see whether or not you're going to get run over. It's a little disconcerting if there's no vehicles, but they should be coming at me so I'll see them. I won't get run over from behind. Now, Lupeshi here oh, is very lucky. Damn. Nearly run over. Oh, and that works for me because Lupeshi grabs this right I try to grab it too, and instead of throwing her out, we are we are very briefly passengers. She gets us in trouble with the law, which doesn't really factor in. And you're saying, why did you jump out? You had a free ride. I could not turn down all these Mustangs. All these Dominator GTs, I know they're good. They've got great handling, a lot of power, they're fine on the fine going up chili hot. 
Because I'd already done my Dominator GT video. Awesome. You bastard, get the checkpoint. Just get it. Ugh. And I know this will take the hot lap route. So, right here, I'm down in 86th place out of 120. Things are going fairly well. I'm still following the crowd. Which way to go? I think we lose the wanted level momentarily, hopefully before we get into the, uh, the military base. We weren't gonna wait. There we go. Fairly good that we lost that right before I got shot in the face trying to come into the military base, so that's good. Ping. I don't know what happened to all those people over there. I just noticed that. Again, I'm voicing this after the fact. There's a whole bunch of cars wrecked over in there. I'm up to 50th place now. That is nice. We're, we're making positions. People are having difficulties. A little sloppy through there. It bounced a bit, but we're still good. Make the pass here. Get taken out by the person I passed cleanly, I might add. Up to 32nd. I mean, we're 32nd. That's doing pretty good. A lot of that's going to shake out because we're on the, the Durfgy side. And it depends on a lot of things. 30th place. I don't know that I ever break the 20s. Never break the 20s. I don't know. I'm drifting back down a little bit to 31st. Again, through here, following the following the crowd. I'm in a good car. I love this car. That that sucker has seen some better days, but you know. Banshee's still a very good car. Okay, we're, we're kind of run off the road there. Stunted it out. We've lost some fenders and stuff. We've, we've lightened the car. It's been optimized. Starting to lose places. Starting to gain places. Fighting for places. He's, I don't know what he was doing. It was clear that he wanted to be hit. That was just a thing. Some people were going for the supercars there, but I knew what I had was good enough. We had enough speed. We had enough robustness. We had enough traction. This is the car I wanted to use. Not the optimal line. We're kind of run off the optimal line. We're trying to be as considerate as possible. This is going to end badly. This ends. Whoa, this is just messy. Now he leaped himself over the other way. I'm thinking, I'm going to, I'm just going to follow the ravine now. That might not be the optimal line. At least one person thought it was a good time. As they're hitting me. And now I'm at the point, do I want to take the hot lap route or do I want to go, say, the middle route? And I'm thinking, the last time I took the hot lap route and almost got murdered, murdered on the, uh, on the tracks. This is more mayhem than you normally see in a thread. not normally this. So we just, we're going to take the middle route here. A special thanks to Pancro Jones for teaching me the middle route. As we were kicking around doing some of my build videos, you know, will this car go up to the So cars that would definitely not do the hot lap. 
hot lap group. Did I say that right? I have no idea. People just want to keep giving me speed boosts over and over. Here's the trick. Normally when you're doing a gruffy stream, everybody's very, very considerate of each other. Once the once the allow list gets opened wide open in here and we got the almost anybody and you got the, the field spread where probably knows nobody's gonna know what happened to you. Yeah, that that kind of loosens up a bit. And it becomes a little bit more traditional GTA. That can't be helping your run, sir. It is getting me repeated. That guy, he had issues. Issues were had there. And I think whoever was bumping me had issues. Which they would, you know, just he's constantly hitting somebody. We're in the same car. I don't know why he's even getting that much more speed to be able to give me the bumps. And as you can see, it's going really well. I'm really making good time up till yet. Things are going great. Hang on to the... There's that guy. He wasn't behind me on the map for, for a while. Now he's suddenly back. So... Oh, it's a different guy in a different blue car. So hold on to that feeling. Hold on to the memories because very shortly you're going to see the true nature of the G. Fred Dirk G kind of experience. Now we get here, everybody's got to get the same checkpoint. And it starts to become carnage. Absolute demolition derby. Psychotic carnage. I got stuck there on the rocks. Trying to go through. Not even having a choice in the matter. Just being pummeled. Trying to make the trip. There's too many cars. You cannot... All right, so this this clearly isn't going to happen. Right? So what did I do? I figured I'll do it old school. I'll take the old school route up, and that works. I've got the traction, and my car is just too wide. Ladies and gentlemen, that is permanently stuck. I mean, stuck, stuck. And I very quickly figured, all right, hold on, before something horrible happens, get the checkpoint. I'm in wild amounts of danger here, but see someone's hit the car. All right, did that loosen it up? Can I even get back into the car? Magically, I can. I'm trying, I can just get it down now. Just, just no. The car is half destroyed, and. I'm looking at it. Can I kick it? Can I do anything? And... So there I am. Barbecue sauce on my titties. On a bicycle. Just, just for good measure. If someone else needs a car, they can, they can get that out. They can have it. How I survived that and not getting killed completely. Oh, I didn't survive that. That's right. I forgot about this. Totally forgot about dying on the way down and then having to do it again. Jeez. Almost run over, but run off the road badly enough. This I have thought, can I get this car to work? It won't even let me back in it. The car... Es muerte. Feo fuerte y formal. It's dead. That's what's wrong with it. No, no, it's, it's resting, look. I'm trying to think which way do I get down here. Oh dear. Well. You 
you can see I'm just dropping down the order. 102nd. Can you imagine if that happened to you in real life? You're going down a hill like that and a Lamborghini misses you by six inches. Somehow I made it to the proper line. I have no idea how. And I'm going down the hill probably about as quick as I would in the car. Maybe not quite as quick, but you know, if you're going much quicker than this in the car, usually... Alright, here it feels a little bit slower. But we are well into the realm of things are not going well at this point. I've had a Chiliad disaster. I have lost... Well, really, if you, from the best point... I'm down 70 places. And there's no cars here. We have to keep going. We can't just go up the... It would be very ill-advised to try and just follow the, the standard line back and take the, take the tracks. I don't see any cars up that way. They'd probably be, you know, like an injector, injector or something like that. I have to get back to the highway. So we take a nice little bike ride. There are cars. Come on. I'm trying to find... I mean, I realize I shouldn't be picky at this point, but I also need something relatively good. I tried to get to Sintala. He just strolled away on me. Alright, let's... There are no cars. There are no... What is going on here? I've got to block the road. Okay, whatever this is. This is a, a 5M car, purely, I think. Ah! Karen of... Is that Aryan? Call me the dirt bag that I am. I'm taking your car. I'm like, where do I go? Alright, let's just take the purple line. Is it is it the best route? Almost certainly not. But on the other hand, the only traffic I'll have to fight is GTA traffic for a lot of it. And I won't have to be dealing with people going the other way because nobody's going to be getting... Well, I mean, actually, at this point, 15 minutes in, you could theoretically see somebody coming up here for the Hail Mary. I mean, if you were able to somehow, in this environment, get a world record deep red run, that's the 16 minute range. Last I checked. It may, there may be, actually. I think RBS might have a sub-16. Sub Strangely enough, I'm not seeing RBS in the top three yet. I know he's in. Will he start pulling ahead? But I mean, again, with, with the uh, the mix of checkpoints going in different directions, it's going to be really hard to sort out until everything's said and done. We're only pulling 112, 114. It's not bad. It's not great to grab that Trismo, probably. But at this point, I just want to make time. Yeah, four miles to go, it's gonna be about four minutes until we make the next the next checkpoint. It is it's, it's all gone wrong at this point. Yes, good sir, I can crash into your car. There are nice cars. I mean there's a that was a comet there, that would have been But it's gotta be, it's gotta seem really worth it, you know? Just nor it's a normal drive. Just driving as fast as you can down the, the coastal highway here. You 
can see the massive field spread out on the uh, on the map. Just got tapped there. Recover. And Yitakas has won already. Some kind of run to 17 minutes, it looks like. I'm not halfway through. Actually, you know, I say that in terms of distance and things like that. I don't think I'm halfway through. But as far as time-wise, I'm more than... Still hovering in the 104, 105. And I'm thinking, you know, what was that? It's a roughy orange, roughly. Is it a temp it's a variant to the Tempesta. Oh my god! Either red or red orange, sunset orange, something. Now I'm on eighth gear. I'm thinking, I wonder what the top end is like. Is it? Because Tempestas don't usually have a great top end, but their handling is great. But this is a variant. They give it a little bit more. I figured it had to be a good car to drive. Yeah. Top three have finished. G Fred, Durf D, G Fred. I'm gonna try the jump. I tried to give that car a little bit more room than I should have. Did not explode. I think if this was vanilla, well, first of all, I wouldn't be in the car. But second of all, I would have exploded because I believe all the cars in traffic are fully upgraded, so the armor saved me there. Not my skill. All right, so we're gonna do what we should have done in the first place. Drive up and around. Can you imagine if I'd exploded there and then had to go all the way back? We would have DNF'd for sure. We're down at 106 at one point there, 100, back to 104. For the record, my last massively uh, online uh, Drift G G Fred, I was on the G Fred side and I finished 107th. Just like one of my favorite radio stations, Rock 107. City police say arson may be the cause of a rash of fires to hit the downtown recently. Public safety director James <laughs> who would not go on camera with us, he would not go on camera with us, he did say, I think there's quite a bit of arson around. In fact, too much arson around. But that's what you get, arson around, arson around, arson around. <laughs> and look what happens. So the goal here at this point is beat 107. So far, I am doing. We want to improve. Always want to do a little bit better. Let's ring this thing out, see what kind of speeds we can get. It's a little beat up, but we should still be doing okay. Still trying to get some clean run in here. Get myself out of the city. 115, 113. We're running the same as the same top speeds. All right, finally we touch 120. We're, we were doing much better here than we were in the other. Car. All right, one, 128. I saw. All right, so this was worth doing. Can we get it over 130? Come on. Speed! Position counter is improving. I don't even see myself passing anybody, but... It's getting better. 
And again, that's gonna keep mixing up as you know the different checkpoints are hit on both sides. I hesitate a bit here because I'm looking, I'm like, would well, it be better to try and take a line off to the right? So you see me choke here. This is a this is a choke. I should have discontinued on. But I'm thinking, can I get there from here? And it just totally choke it. And I get I think I get hit again. Almost. I get past. Again, I don't know the lines. So I'm like, alright, I looked at the map and I said, alright, no, if I go this way, I should get to the, uh, to get to the quarry. There's probably I could have gone off to the right and then jumped mountains and stuff like that and gotten there, but it did not seem like the best the best way to do it. That wasn't the best way to do it either. I looked at this and I'm like, is this the best way to do it either? Oh no, I think I should have gone the other way. But we're here. I went too far across. Alright, we're, we're alright. Now it feels like a G thread at least again. So those little bits where it feels like a G thread. Go boing. Now. But whereas right now. Right now we would be the beginning of G thread. We're almost done. We just have to get back. We have to we have two more checkpoints to go. racing pedal box so I let it catch up to me back there. When I paused I didn't know where I was going. Helps to know where you're going. Pedal box. That would mean if in Spanish you like duck fox or something. Pato the the duck from that show that the kids watch. to 95. Missed the turn. Missed the turn completely. As a matter of fact, I missed it so completely, I didn't... I, watching it, I missed that I missed the turn the second time around. Pato Fox is now ahead of me. He probably stays ahead of me. But now up there in 94th position, on the G-Fred side. Now it's in 95th, it's Pankro Jones. Now we have a new goal. We're racing our good buddy. Can I finish this? I didn't even realize, I didn't read close enough that uh, there goes Petrofox. I really am confused as how there can be a parachute line. The only way there can be a parachute line is if, if, you climb the, uh, climb the, the lighthouse. Would that be faster? Climb the lighthouse and then parachute. I'm making a note of that. Because you can't you can't jump it off the mountain or something like that unless you're doubling back and that can't be faster. Good work, Paddle Fox. Here I am, Pankro Jones ahead of me in 94. I'm in 95th. How will this shake out? I'm closing on Pankro Jones. Who well, I gather also had some kind of chilly edge disaster when we talked after that. So we both we both had our races ruined on Zunk Chilly Eye. I'm desperately running. Can I make the pass into 94th? Pass is made. Paddle Fox is going to pull down 93rd. Paddle Fox finishes. Ready? 
95th. Who, somebody got me in 94th. Was it Pancro Jones? No, it was Jay Cleek. Somehow on the G Fred side past me at the last second as I barely edge. Pancro Jones by, what is that, five seconds? So close. We're on opposite sides. 27 minutes. And it's a five seconds difference between the two of us. Whew. Whew. That was a lot of work. That is the trick with these. It's like, yes, that was fun. Want to do another one? No, not not for a while. Not for a while. I don't think I'll, if they have one in October, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make that anyway. There's I have so many events going in October. I've got a 5K charity run, in which I will be selling bottles of water. Not running. No, no, we're not. You still run? Only when chased. Now everyone's just hanging out. Everyone's listening to to Bruffy at this point. We've all got. We're all tuned into the stream, trying to hear how things are going and what the, what's going on. This will eventually, I believe, be a YouTube video. So I'll try and link the. Uh, Link the video. You can see this whole thing from Bruffy's side. If I recall, he did quite a good bit better than I did. But hey, we did improve. We did improve our position. We went from 107th to 95th. And I believe last time it was 30 minutes for me to do the G-Fred. And this time 27. So we improved our time by 3 minutes. Now, great, it was going in the opposite direction, so it's apples and oranges. But I will tell again, we, we improved it on the deep, on the Durf G side, which I am traditionally not very good at. So I think, I think you know, victories were had here. We, we, we have to look at this as moral victories. Things went better than perhaps even expected. Honestly, I mean, what would I do if I was in first? What would my heart rate be if I was in first place? I come down that last. I, you know, maybe it's best that I don't do that. I'd hate to. Yeah, you heard about the Black Knight. He was almost about to win a G Fred and had a stroke. Oh, that would be good. You know, we don't want any of that. But um, you can't you can't win one of these until you got yourself to the point where you've got the confidence and the calmness of yeah, that's what I expect. You know, that's that's one of the things I think that you need a lot of practice and more practice than I get to develop. This has to become so second nature that you just do it. But there is a party atmosphere that I know you're, you're not going to get watching just a bunch of people standing around. You know? This was probably me doing my, you know, well this is your Black Knight, have a great night pose. The video goes on for a little bit longer as things get weird. You know? We're all there. We're all listening to Bruffy talk on the stream. People are wandering around. And then eventually they start doing things. I start doing things. I think, well, what can I do here? The race is still going on. We're all waiting for people to finish. Very good luck. It's a little, it's a little tricky for, for me yet. Using the editor, the... There's a lot of ways to end up with no arms, you know? Not that that's a bad thing within the game. It doesn't even, doesn't affect anything. You end up looking like Rayman, you know? It's, how everything works, it's just, you're, it's a, you know why? Because it's a video game. That's right, dude, none of this is realistic. Okay, so someone has just spawned a, an airplane sta uh, stairs and they said, all right, I can, I can spawn stuff too. What do I want to spawn? I had a thought. I thought, let's let's do something Simpsons inspired. 
because such things exist. Where is it? Where? Alphabet is your friend. That couch supreme. I need to load this and modify it so that it's the proper color for the, the Simpsons couch. Drive that puppy all over the place. And I just got hooked on my headphones and then tossed my headphones hither and dither. I don't know why we're sparring all these cars. I guess you just have to have some place to sit. Finnable, have a seat. I guess he should be able to have a seat, right? Or she. Minimal should I be able to have a seat? Oh no, he got, got their own ride, okay. That is a vehicle that would have been really great for the whole Arena Wars stuff. Tweaksy, come on! Let's have a seat at the couch, we'll just relax. Just thinking of doing something. He's going through the menu, he's spawning something. I'm willing to bet. Yep. Ramp buggy. Here we go. Woo wee! Woo! It's gonna be adventure sometimes as we wait for the race to end. I have no idea what I was attempting here at this point. I thought maybe I'd be launched into next week there. There's, that's not the physics. There is a certain euphoria for having completed it. And I have failed to complete it on a number of occasions. But yeah, at this point, yeah, I'm just happy to be driving around on a couch. I don't have to worry about, am, am I going to DM it? DNF. Did not finish. Gotta get yourself a couch. And looking for the pose with the lighthouse and the whole nine yards. Now, I'm not sure what happens after this, ladies and gentlemen, but I think this is as good a place as any to say. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is your Black Knight. Have a great night. I'm just standing here. Maybe at the time I was thinking of wonderful things to say. It's fun, but it's a very difficult kind of fun. There's a lot of less stress, especially when your car is stuck at the top of Mount Chiliad. That hadn't happened. If I had gotten that point, I wonder where I would have ended up. And that's the kind of thing that makes people go back to this pain. You know? It's not just pure masochism. It, it probably is an element of that, but... All of it, though, I had, I had more pain in the other races I had during the stream. But, it's not easy. It's not e you should try it. Get the experience for yourself. Look at uh, bruffy.com slash schedule to find out when you can join it. Bye, folks. We can look at it this way. <laughs> I'd say you clearly do not give one single.